Terry A. Nation, also known as the Saloon Smasher, was born November 25, 1846 at Garrard County, Kentucky. At eight years old, Carrie and her family moved to a farm in Belton, Missouri. Many years later, Carrie married Charles Gloyd, a physician and a school teacher. At their wedding was when Carrie saw Charles intoxicated for the first time and later realized he suffered from severe drinking problems. Charles later passed away from alcoholism. Carrie then moved to Holden, Missouri, which is roughly 30 minutes southwest of Warrensburg. Carrie attended State's Normal School in Warrensburg, which is known as the University of Central Missouri today. Nation received a certificate of teaching. Following that teaching certificate, Nation taught at Holden Public School for four years, but then fell in love with David Nation, a respected member of Johnson County. Many years later, the Nation family moved to Medicine Lodge, Kansas, in which Carrie from her window noticed that there were a lot of bars and saloons around. This gave her grief due to her late husband. Nation later joined the Women's Temperance Union, which was an organization to limit drinking in the United States. There was a combined concern for social ills with religious settlements and practical health considerations. Carrie felt it was her duty to dismiss the evil spirit of alcohol and believed it was God's will to do so. When Women's Temperance Union was not getting enough attention by peers through prayer, many decided to take an alternative route in which Carrie led. Carrie and the women who followed her wrecked Carrie Hotel Bar in Wichita, Kansas with the hatchet on December 26, 1900. Carrie and the women were all arrested. One month passed and by that time they had already wrecked 10 more bars. David Nation, Carrie's husband, did not approve of this and divorced Carrie a little bit later. Throughout their work of campaigning, Carrie decided to change her name to Carrie with a Y for her name to be Carrie A. Nation. Carrie bought a home in Eureka Springs, Arkansas in 1909. Carrie made this purchase as a boarding house for families of alcoholics, and this place was called Hatchet Hall. This still stands today and is actually known as an attraction. Nation later suffered a stroke and passed away on June 9, 1911. She is still buried in Belton, Missouri, but due to Carrie's determination and commitment, she helped the United States like she intended, especially in the state of Kansas. Kansas is where most of the wrecking of the bars and saloons happened. So to say that they listened to her would be an understatement. Kansas today has very strict alcohol laws. And as for the United States, the government passed the 18th Amendment, which prohibited the sale of alcohol in 1919. However, in 1933, prohibition ended. The government also passed the 19th Amendment law, which allows women to vote, which is still relevant today. Carrie Nation is a legacy.